In this video, we're going to walk through one example involving a fair roulette wheel. We're going to find the proportion more extreme on a sampling distribution using stat key. Here's our scenario. On an American roulette wheel, there are 38 slots, 18 red, 18 black, and 2 green. You always bet on green. If the wheel is fair, then 2 over 38, or 0 0.0526, of spins should land on green. You question whether the wheel is fair. In 50 rounds, the wheel lands on green only one time. So from this scenario, we know that P, or the population proportion, equals 0 0.0526. In other words, if the wheel is fair, then in the population of all possible spins, 0 0.0526 should be green. N equals 50 because you're playing 50 rounds. And P hat, the observed sample proportion, is 1 over 50 because recall 1 out of your 50 rounds resulted in green. So P hat equals 0 0.02. Here's our question. If the wheel is fair, what is the probability that a random sample of 50 spins will result in a sample proportion more extreme than the one you observed? In other words, if P equals 0 0.0526, what probability of samples of N equals 50 would have a sample proportion more extreme than the one that we observed here, which was 0 0.02? And one of the key phrases here is more extreme. So we're not given a direction. We don't want to know what proportion of samples would have more than one spin or less than one spin. We just want to know what proportion would be more extreme than the one that we observed. First question you might ask is, can we use the normal approximation method? Well, in order to use the normal approximation method, both n times p and n times 1 minus p must be at least 10. Here, n times p equals 2.63, n times 1 minus p equals 47.37. n times p is less than 10, so we cannot use the normal approximation method. We have to use the exact method. Now, Minitab Express will, will run the exact method, but what we're going to do here, since we're demonstrating stat key, I'm going to go to stat key, and I'm going to simulate a sampling distribution, and we'll use that sampling distribution to determine what proportion of samples have a sample proportion more extreme, so in other words, the difference between the population proportion and the sample proportion is more extreme than the one that we observed here. In other words, the difference between 0 0.0526 and 0 0.02. So let's go to stat key. In stat key, I'm going to create a sampling distribution for a proportion. Call our population proportion, or the proportion of spins that should be green if the wheel is fair, was 0 0.0526. And we have a sample size of n equals 50. So I'm going to generate a few thousand samples. I've generated 6,000 samples here. This is my distribution of sample proportions. So given a population proportion of 0 0.0526, we repeatedly pulled samples of n equals 50, and we recorded each sample's sample proportion, and that is what is shown on our dot plot here. So we, remember, we want to know what proportion of these samples have a sample proportion that is more extreme than the one that we observed. So more extreme tells us that we're doing a two-tailed test. So we're going to take into account both the left and the right sides of this distribution. The default is to set the, the total area in those tails to 0 0.05. You'll learn more about that in Lesson 8. Um, just to default, the, the typical alpha level is 0 0.05. But what we're working with now is we want to know what proportion of these samples on this sampling distribution are 
more extremely different from the population proportion. So recall our sample proportion was 0 0.02. That would fall to the left of the mean. So we can select this box here to the left of the mean and we'll set this cutoff value to 0 0.02. What that'll do is in red, it will shade in all of the sample proportions that are more extremely different from the population proportion than the one that we observed. So there's 0 0.252 on the left side and 0 0.252 on the right side. Recall we were not given a direction, so we need to take into account both the right and the left sides of this distribution. Uh, we add these two proportions together, so 0 0.252 plus 0 0.252 gives us 0 0.504, which is the answer to this question. So given that the population proportion should be 0 0.0526, uh, we could also say if the wheel was fair, the probability that we would take a random sample of 50 spins of the wheel and find a proportion more extreme then 0 0.02 is the red area here, the total area 0 0.504. So the final answer to this question, and I'll pull up the question again so you can read it. The final answer to this question is 0 0.504. If the wheel is fair, then 0 0.504 of random samples of 50 spins will result in a sample proportion more extreme than the one that we observed.